Hey Bessie family, so this was a great week. Apologies for not uploading frequently these past few days. I took a mini vacation, but now I'm back and just in time. Today we announced the three winners of the t-shirt contest and one winner of the FX lightsaber contest. Thank you guys so much for participating and I do hope you enjoy them. Now comes a new contest which you can win as well. Two winners will be announced on Sunday the 25th, which is of course next Sunday. You will have a chance to win this contest by participating in every video uploaded this week. To do so, you simply need to be subscribed or subscribe now, like this video and comment down below which lightsaber would you prefer. Alright guys, have fun with the contest this week. Today I'm bringing you the full experience of the two videos I posted back on November 2016 and since you guys like them so much, I thought I'd let you enjoy them both in one sitting. You are quicker than I thought, Moret. But just as predictable. I always knew it would end like this. You and me. The old versus the new. You are correct, child. This ends. <laughs> You were right. This is how it was always going to end. Silo watched from the bridge as the battle ended quickly for Morit, but instead of panicking, Silo had one more trick up his sleeve. He, in fact, had designed a secret device that, when activated, would disable Vader entirely his movements, his functions, and cybernetics. You are one of my machines, too. I've kept this for 20 years, just in case. I didn't want to use it. It was entirely possible that my private access would have been disabled in the years since I helped rebuild your body. But it appears I was overly concerned, and I could have turned off your cybernetics any time I wanted. You were never a threat to me. I could have always brought you to your knees with a single click of a button. I often wondered whether what rose from our operating table was a machine or a man. Good to have an answer. Vader is no longer a threat. While Silo continued to mock him, Vader slowly started to fade into oblivion and envisioned himself as Anakin. Wishing that Obi-Wan had finished him on Mustafar instead of letting him live, with Obi-Wan even asking if killing him would be better, Vader rose from the lava. Yes, it would have. As Vader approached him, Obi-Wan had the same response he once told to Vader that if Vader strikes him down, he would become more powerful than he could possibly imagine. And same as before, when Vader killed Obi-Wan, his body vanished. I need not imagine being more powerful. I am more powerful with every step I take away from you. The vision continued, but now it was the light that he had inside, speaking to him in the form of his former self, Anakin Skywalker, yelling at Vader. He could not believe, how could he have done this? How could he have killed his own master and good friend? Vader responded swiftly. You were a child. I am well accustomed to killing children. You don't need to go on. It can be over. You know you don't want to leave. Stay. Anakin. <laughs> no. Anakin is dead. You're still deactivated. How? I killed him.
Previously on Bessie. Anakin is dead. I killed him. Nothing is impossible for the Force. Silo's clones woke up from their cryo sleep. Still not comprehending how could this have happened, he was sure that Vader was done for. Meanwhile, Vader appeared in front of Emperor Palpatine. Master, I have freed the ship from Silo's control. The power is returning. Good. Are there any remaining problems? Just one. It is being dealt with. Do so, and return. There is much to discuss. You bet there is. Your Emperor, Highness, Master, Sir. Who dares intrude into my private chambers? I'm Dr. Afra. We've got a mutual friend. I've got things you need to know. Vader was determined to end Silo once and for all. He began by approaching Silo's ship as he fired and created a small opening for him to enter with his tie advanced. As soon as he entered, the guards came running trying to stop him, firing and giving everything they had, but it just wasn't enough. Is it jealousy? You are trapped in your broken form, while I am immortal. These wonderful machines giving me as many lives as I need. You are wrong, Silo. That I can kill you repeatedly is by far your most appealing trait. Still, my achievements were great. You cannot take that from me even now. I transcended the laws of nature and the trap of the Force. I made myself immortal. I will make you ash. You will fly into the sun. Please, my mind is protected against such simple Force trickery. I was not speaking to you, Silo. No. He can't. This is a machine. My machine. I am the master here. I... Impossible. Silo is dispatched. Is there anything else you require, my master? I was hoping for a full report, but your aid has been most helpful in filling in the gaps. Why did you never introduce me to your boss, boss? The Emperor's one hell of a guy. Creating your own empire within the Empire. Securing finances by open robbery from imperial treasuries. Covering up the crime by slaughtering those who would expose you. Oh boy, are you in trouble. Most impressive, Vader. You let your anger and pride guide you to the darkest places. That is our way, Lord Vader. All you did in the shadows is most pleasing to me. You are everything I could have hoped for. I'm sure you'll want 
Some words with Dr. Ephra. Meet me on the bridge afterwards. I need to talk of the recent disasters with General Tage. Walk with me. I... I... You have to understand, boss. I didn't want to betray you, but you didn't exactly leave me many options. I figured, prove myself to him. Get on your boss's good side, and he'd protect me from you. He'd give you the slap on the wrist for your bad boy antics, and then we could get back to normal. But he loves it! I proved you to him. And I didn't betray your real secret, whatever's going on with that rebel kid. S so things couldn't have ended any better for you, boss. You understand, yeah? Enter. The... airlock. No! No! You promised me the saber, nice and quick! You promised! I promised you nothing. I did everything you wanted! And more! You can't! Not like this. Please, not like this. The delightful girl won't be joining us. A shame. I have talked to Grand General Tage and come to a decision. Due to the obvious failings in his command, he is to be demoted. Starting immediately, he is to cede all control into your hands. The fleet will be yours. The executor will be yours. I leave you to educate your subordinates about this brave new era. While General Tage was trying to explain himself and create excuses, Vader had a much shorter response. Admiral Ozell, when will the Executon be ready? Admiral Ozell told Vader that the Executor had suffered some damage and told him that it would take at least a month for it to be fully functional. Vader again responded quickly. You have two weeks. Alright guys, that is it for today, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want for me to make more videos like this, leave a comment down below and let me know, hope you like it, leave a thumbs up if you do, subscribe for more videos like this, and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you, always.